have a jump box challenge for you and it's going to be an Easter jump box challenge since Easter is coming up. And the fun twist is I'm actually hosting Easter this year for my family and we're expecting like a good crowd, yes. like over 20. So we decided that we are doing something fun for our family within the jump box. But we'll take each piece and show you what it might become and we'll see as we progress things turn out. And for those of you who don't know what a junk box challenge is, it is where customers donate random junk around their home and then challenge us to create home decor from it. So this junk box is different in that several people have donated to it. Um, it's leftover junk box stuff that we couldn't get to before because They've given us so much stuff in one junk box, we just don't have time to finish it. So there's about three or four different people. So thank you, Deb. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Taffy and Tammy. So thank you, those four people who donated this fun stuff for us today. So let's get started. Do you guys know what we're doing? No. No? Kind well, of. Kind yes. of. Yes. Well, okay. Easter baskets. <clears throat> Easter right. baskets so made hard. out of these boxes. Yes. So that's what we're doing for our family. Um, so we are hiding two Easter boxes, beautiful salvage Easter boxes, and only two lucky women will, will get to have our boxes. But So we're fixing those up into, I don't know how we're going to paint them, but probably paint them. I like, them the back. I like, I like this color. color. I really do like yeah. this one. This one's good. We could leave this one, maybe line it because it kind of yeah, has some, something to do. So. And there's vegetables in there. These are cool vegetables. I don't think we'll leave those vegetables. Like, yeah, we're not <laughs> eating these. <laughs> well, we, if we, we get extra guests, we probably could feed them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> not have enough food. But, um, so, but those are very nice. But these are kind of fun Easter vegetables. So we have a basket in that box, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Cool. Okay. But maybe lime this. Yeah, it has, I think so. oh, it's too bad I don't have like extra fabric with it. OSB board or something on the bottom. But mm, so maybe like with a fun material or small mm. paper or something. And then we have this box. And this needs a paint job. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, it's gross and dirty. So we'll fix up those nice and fun. And this is what Chris Easter is all about. <laughs> so of course these are gonna go into the boxes. Pretty yeah. fancy. I think we should get rid of that little little. Uh, yeah, yeah I just think it going. looks kind of gaudy. She, gaudy. Excuse me, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take much talent to do okay. that. <laughs> we'll paint them up beautiful salvage style and stuff them in the Easter boxes. I couldn't get it. We'll have to take a screwdriver to it later. <laughs> well, the first one came out easy. <laughs> <laughs> or a chisel. Um, and then we have these little plaques and what these were they were actually they sat on corbels if you saw another video we had we redid some corbels and those sat on there and we took them off um but i thought they kind of looked like tombstones they're great out of tombs. Not, not tombstones but tombs this is a tombstone and then we have like little rocks so we'll do something like that like for an empty tomb yeah stuff that in there um, and then what else do we have? What do you need this morning? <laughs> a hat. Yeah, no, I'm just do you want it as a hat? Mm -hmm. Okay. I like those. <laughs> it's a, a spool. I thought it would be neat as a cake display or something where you oh, like yeah. paint it and then put it on the sure. counter and then put a cake. And we could do this, we could use it for our Easter gathering, but then we could also use it at the boutique. Okay. That would be kind of nice. Um, so it needs some cleaning. Out. It does. It needs some cleaning and painting, and it's kind of loose on the I bottom. So we'll figure it out. Go right into there. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But. Okay. That one is just like a candle pedestal. Almost could have a big Rhea egg sitting on that. You could. Do you have Rhea eggs? Yes, I do. I Ooh. have a great big egg that fits like this. Rhea's are kind of like ostriches. Oh. Yeah. But it wouldn't sit flat, so. Or just a candle or a something. Candle. Or a candle. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy to work. Rhea egg. But we'll paint that up. Make it look cute. Kind of maybe not just for Easter, but for all year round. Well, here's the fabric. Is that what you were going to use in the box? Are we going to teach? Well, we could. 
Can you stain that? Yes, this is the kind of a cool oh, antique so pretty. tablecloth, but it's really gross and stained. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to stain it more to make it, it's not going to be gross then. Um, so yeah, let's coffee stain it. Coffee stain it. Yeah. And then it'll look like it's supposed to be that mm -hmm. way. Yep. That's a good, good idea. And so I don't know. I don't know. I like it the way it is. I don't know. I think it's so cut pretty. it up. We, what if we just use it for like an Easter table setting or something? Okay. Like that? Like, all right. Yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, all right. But well, we're gonna do something. It's gorgeous. It. Here's the basket. Yes. And so all this, this food is from Taffy. We put the carrots in. It, it. Yeah. I thought that would be. Cute. We could put like a label on there that says fresh veggies or, you know, I don't know. False advertising. <laughs> <laughs> picture. Oh, I like, and that's not colored. It's from Ben Franklin, so. Yeah. So it's been a while. It's, yeah. yeah. It's super You want to bring cute. that up and show? Cute little bunny with a watering can. I like this side too. This mm -hmm. the dark. So I was thinking we'd put that decal on the sign once we get it painted. It'd be a cute yes. Easter sign. You want the kitty, Julie? Don't you want the kitty? I know. She knows I want the kitty. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute, but mm -hmm. it's, the it's glass good. is broken, exactly. so we're gonna have to do something for all with my fellow that. kitty lovers. And I thought that would be really cute to put in one of the Easter baskets. Then I have to ask one of my Julie relatives really wants if, I, it. if I can do it. Really wants it. That's why she's so quiet right now. She wants it. I'm just looking at it lovingly. I'm gonna give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> Then, and then also we have all these frames and nice. I was on the computer earlier. One of our favorite websites is the graphics fairy. It was the graphicsfairy.com. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, it had a cute Easter one on it. She has a lot of fun vintage photos. So what we'll do is we'll just fill these cute frames with some vintage photos and put them in our Easter basket. And then Julie got a bunch of fun candies and Stuff like that, and Angie, you brought some candy and chocolate too, and we're gonna put that in the Easter boxes as well. So, and right. we're real candies, real candy, real candy, <laughs> yeah, real not still like good for your teeth, <laughs> <laughs> unlike the fake veggies. Okay, all right, well, let's get started. Let's all do right. it. We got lots to do. All right. Julie was in charge of painting the drawers and candle pedestal. We decided to keep the turquoise drawer the same color, but painted the inside of it so it would have a nicer feel. Angie was in charge of painting the crosses. We decided to use a DIY textured paint to do this. We just add salt and baking soda until it is about as thick as frosting. You then stipple the paint texture onto the item. This is a fun way to add texture and interest to a piece. We've done this before on some of our other videos. While Angie was painting the crosses, I was painting over the large Christmas sign to get it ready to put the bunny decal on. I let that sit to dry and got my coffee mixed up in a large bucket so I could stain the vintage tablecloth. I used about a half a cup of coffee and four cups of hot boiling water and mixed it together in a big bucket. Then I put the tablecloth in the bucket to soak up all the coffee. When the paint on my sign was dry, it was time to put the vintage bunny decal on. The directions were to place the decal down on the paper side up and to put a wet or damp towel over the top until the paper was ready to be peeled back, similar to a kid's tattoo.
For the spool pedestal, Julie coated the middle with Mod Podge and put vintage music paper around it. I later used IOD transfers over the music paper to add some more detail. And she used IOD stamps to stamp the words fresh vegetables onto linen drop cloth and then glued it to the gray basket. She placed fake vegetables into the basket for a cute little display. Okay, so we are done with our junk pots today. Let's show them what we have. Woo -hoo -hoo. Angie, you wanna start? Well, Amy worked on this little cute little bunny. So Amy likes bunnies. Uh, isn't that cute? Yes, and that one will be for sale on the website. So if you want to shop any of our products, beautifulsalvage.com, you can go there. Um, let's see. Ooh, you have to see the pictures that Amy put into these frames. Oh, look at how adorable they are. And the chickens and the lamb. So Aren't cute. they gorgeous? Yes, yeah, so those are all pictures from the Graphic Fairy and we will put them in our Easter boxes when we're done. So, and then we, we painted the boxes. This one just got a simple white paint and I would put transfers on here, but the paint wasn't quite dry enough for the transfers. Nope. So we just didn't have time today, but that's okay. A cute little white box with, and we'll show you how we decorate them up. Um, and then we kept this one, the aqua blue color, and then painted the inside white. And these are really not fresh. They're <laughs> fresh. That's so cute. I love and, that. And that little so carrots. Oh, this guy's hiding. I think I want him up higher because he's so cute. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Very cute for a garden, like a garden theme. And then I love this. And this could be, we might use this this Easter and put a cake on, on top. But... The Mod Podge isn't quite dry. I don't know if you see you can see the white on it. That's just from the Mod Podge. It will dry clear. But um, we put the Mod Podge music paper on, then put transfers. And that will be really cute as a display piece, too, in our boutique. Very cute. Oh, and then we have a little urn that we painted white. We left some of the dark areas just for accent. And then Angie glued the cute little wreath on there and put the eggs in and how adorable is that mm -hmm. and then we did the the empty tombs those turned out kind of cute and earthy and natural watch the one rock i hope it's dry <laughs> and then angie did these crosses i'm gonna show that and that we've got the grainy texture to it with baking soda and salt and baking soda and salt is what we used this time yeah and we could seal these after they dry a little more if we mm -hmm. wanted to and then the kitty cleaned up the actually we replaced the glass because there was the crack in there we and missy amy had a piece of glass that fit perfectly and then we put a backing on it and put a hanger on it <laughs> Watch Super cute. Julie's pockets for these. <laughs> yeah, so it's, oh, and we have the tablecloth. Let me get it. Oh, it's, yeah. It's still wet yet, so uh, you saw that I soaked it in um, coffee. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it up to dry so the pigment sets in the fabric. And then after it's done drying, then I'll put it in the wash and wash it and dry it so that's what it, so it all kind of has a vintage -y look now and the stains blend in we'll show you how we are going to stuff our baskets or boxes easter boxes mm -hmm.
If you like what you've seen today, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you join us for our upcoming junk box challenges along with other creative endeavors. You can also follow us on Facebook and shop our online boutique at beautifulsalvage.com. Thanks so much again. Have a beautiful day. Bye.